today I'm in waiting over again. I'm over by the old uh, power plant. You can see over there. I'm just taking a quick video for you. I'm not going to the power plant today because I probably can't get in there, but I will be going to the beach next to it. It's a different beach than last time. So we had a nor'easter uh, yesterday, but apparently um, there's like nothing I can even do here about this right now. Probably gonna go to another location. The other beach is a lot more uh, shoreline. So this one, there's like no shoreline, but I will come back here after this uh, whole mess is over. And uh, this is normally where I would go down here to get to the power plant. There's a whole nother bigger shoreline. And as you can see, it's completely flooded out. So they do not want me to be down here today, apparently. That's the parking lot. All right, I don't know if this is gonna work. We're in the middle of a nor'easter right now. I'm in Wading River. Uh, I'm at the other beach. I was just at the town beach. I don't know if you can even hear me. It is freezing cold. I'm wearing a sweater on top of the sweat clothes that I wore that my dogs lay on in the back seat of my car. It is covered in dog hair, but I figured that I could use the extra warmth. I mean, it is, look at those waves, whoa. You guys seen this beach last time. It was not like this. So I don't even know if I'm gonna make it down here another 10 minutes, but I'm gonna give it a try. Hey, look at this. There's all this driftwood that came up. I've never seen anything like this. I've been here for hurricanes. That would look at this. I can't I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it here today, but luckily I do have a third location that has nothing to do with beaches. But man, I can't wait to come back here. Look at all there's gotta be something washed in. Look at all this driftwood. I mean I gotta hopefully tomorrow look at this this was the beach i was on last time guys the whole shoreline look at the rock it's just buried man wow wow i'm not going back to the park i was at i do have another location uh, that i've been scouting and i'm going to take us there i'm not going to blow ruin the surprise just yet but wow just look at this amazing I cannot wait to come down here and see what washes up besides all this garbage driftwood. Look at this shoe in here. I mean, I hope that no bodies come flying up. I know six people died already, they said in the news today. All right, guys, location number three, it shall be. All right, hey, everybody, Brandon here. Uh, maybe third time's a charm. Now, I'm in, in Wading River still. Um, I can't tell you exactly where, I'll just say it's an undisclosed location. I'm still waiting over, very close to a road, you can see, it's very noisy, it's still very actually cold. There's some foundations here in the woods that I found, must have been some old houses here. You can see there's a pipe going through the bottom of that one, um, if you can see that, but we'll get close to there. I'll uh, see if I can find anything, we'll see what's in here. There's some other foundations also on the other side of the woods, I might try those. But I figured I'd start at these ones, so uh, let's see what we got. So, I got my first signal. It's not a very good one. It's a, uh, a little. I did notch out uh, negative four for this time. Alright, we'll see what's there. I was getting some good tones at some time. I'm just interested to see what's there. That was just some foil. Moving on. I'm on a signal here. Now this might be the best signal I ever got. Very solid 36 during the sweep. Look at it, I'll step over here. Very solid. I don't know what it is yet. It might not be the best thing I've ever found, but that is the best sound my machine's ever made. And I think there's something next to it over here. Yeah. There seems to be something next to it. Let me go. Let's see what's in there.
That's a ten pointer. There's some kind of foil cap, can, top, something. Junk. You know what? I know a lot of, in, in this day, uh, back in the day, you know, people didn't have a, you know, like the garbage man wouldn't come. So they would bury garbage in their backyard and whatever they couldn't burn, they would bury. Just an old top. Let me just get this out of the way. An old jar, lid. Oh well. Actually, I might keep that. It's maybe interesting. Maybe just uncover that metal thing. I don't know what it is. Part of something. No, I just found that jar over there before. I keep finding junk, but. I mean, 305 pinks is good. But some of the passes. Two signals there. Overload. Must be something big. I was hoping it was a coin maybe because it's next to a tree, but it's probably just some big hunk of metal or something. Now this over here, I can't tell if this was a barn or just like some kind of cellar. Like a, uh, like a root cellar or something like that. Um, to see if I can find anything around here. There's another crumbled looking part of the foundation over there. So far it's all junk and garbage I've been finding. I just dug up something very large but it was I just gave up. Uh, I don't even want to uncover what it was because it was something big and it was a, obviously not jewelry or silver or anything that I want so I just left it where it lied. Alright guys I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. Boy I tell you I'm getting the best <laughs> signals out here i need to learn this machine or i'm actually considering a look at this it's probably foil it was the last two times see how it does that i think that's something next to it though see like there's two targets here anyway i'm considering getting a 705 uh in addition to this because I figured I could use the coils, you know, it would be a better machine and has the automatic ground balance. I could switch out the coils and still use this. So uh, I was looking at Safari and I was thinking about getting a used Safari or I've seen used e tracks on the forum for like 600 bucks. I don't know if it's worth getting a used one. Um, it depends, I guess, who you get it from. But this thing's making. Look how slow it goes. Sounds good to me, right? Sounds better than anything, any hits I was getting at the park. Well, I'll show you what it is in a minute. Maybe. Depends on what it is. I left all my finds over there by the bricks. Uh, I'm not going to take any of them with me unless I find any coins. I'll leave the stuff in the woods because I won't be back here, I'm sure, at some point. And we got another great sounding signal here. Pinport has got it. It's very relatively shallow probably garbage again or another very large garbage target that's not very shallow but it's just a large enough target there's a lot of roots in this area of the woods I'm sure you can imagine it looks like some kind of foil yeah yeah it's some kind of tin can tin foil as you can maybe see that's all the junk. It's a junk pile. Alright. I <laughs> uh, just wanted to say a couple things. Guys, uh, today before I went out, I just got some tips. You know, it's just friendly advice. Uh, I would, I take part in it myself, but I was about to, excuse me, I'm getting up. I was going to leave the house this morning, and I noticed I look like a homeless person. Because, uh, you know, I had a big full-on beard going. But it's been cold out. And I uh, just wanted to say, when you're going out, try to uh, 
not look like a homeless person because that probably would scare people away. You know, and uh, they won't invite you to, the, to their house to come look for their wedding ring or, or whatever. Uh, what was the other thing? Oh yeah, suspenders. I ordered suspenders. I bought some suspenders. Uh, I highly suggest that everybody do that. I have a belt, great, but it doesn't work. When you're bending down, getting up a hundred times, uh, and you're at the beach and you're in public areas, nobody wants to see that. I mean, just, uh, they're $5 on eBay. You know, just get some suspenders, would you? All right, guys, I'm at the uh, other foundation over here. You can see the trees, what last? Not last night, that's been like that for a while. Um, but we did have the nor'easter and there's old roof caved in over there, collapsed roof. Here's some kind of foundation, cement. I don't know what that was about. This is the basement here. So I'm gonna see uh, see if I can find anything over here besides aluminum. There was a lot of aluminum and a lot of nails uh, over there. Let's see what we could find. Apparently this, this whole roof structure is, must be loaded with something. Cause look how far away I am. It's the whole ground. Something must be buried along here. There's a bunch of scrap metal over there I was hitting on too. I could see. Um, I did find these. Hold on a second. I'm still using the iPhone guys. So bear with me. I did find these um, shotgun shells over here. Now people uh, come here and hunt deer. And I can tell you right now that it is highly illegal to uh, hunt deer where, we, where I am right now. Um, so all these people are back here breaking the law. I don't know if you can hear me, sorry. Had to switch hands here. Switch cameras, another shotgun shell on the ground right here. Uh, yeah, that I must be away from that, whatever that was over there. Something buried over there. Must be a long, uh, some kind of irrigation pipe or whatever, some kind of piping or whatever that must be hitting on. Um, I don't know what to make of this, guys. I mean, there's a fence over here. There's just so much junk, and then you can see, look, there's so much garbage back here. There's been hunters back here, like just aluminum. See, this aluminum can. Sounds fantastic. And that's all I keep finding is aluminum can after aluminum can back here. Um, it is a bit frustrating, to be honest with you. And, I, and like I said, I don't want to notch out. I do not want to notch out aluminum because that's that's the same as gold. And 36 and 40, frankly, on this machine is the same as silver. So I don't know what this. Yeah, it's giving me an iffy signal. I don't like it. Uh, oh wow, there's a little flood over here. That's a little flood there from the rain last night. There's a whole nother foundation going along, up along here though. Whole nother, um, you see all the bricks. So I mean, there is a lot out here to look, to uh, to search. I just feel like maybe I'd be better off if I came out here with another person. Um, maybe it would help me cut this down a little bit. Or maybe I should just scrap this place all together. I don't know, let me know what you guys think. I mean, I'm sure there's gotta be some interesting stuff here. I just don't uh, have the patience right now to dig through all these roots. It's a very uh, root, root filled area. Like I said, very, very trashy. I mean, I could see the trash sticking out. Look at that, there's some metal sticking out of that tree over there. I have it in pattern two right now. When I came over here, I was in pattern one with nothing discriminated. Uh, when I came over here, you can see all the metal just sticking out. I switched it to pattern two, which has uh, a lot more notched out. But let me just switch it back to pattern one to show you. I don't even know what that's doing. That doesn't sound good. Let me just put it in all metal for a second. There we go. All right, negative four. I do have notched out in pattern one. I usually have it. Um, I usually keep my pattern one with nothing notched out, where it's basically like in all metal mode. But when I came in here, I did put it on. Um, uh, I did notch out the negative four. Yeah, I'm just I'm just hitting more and more trash out here. Look, I got a. Sounds pretty good, right? It's a piece of foil. I mean, like I said, this place is just loaded with uh, so much trash that I can't 
I'm still so new to this that uh, I don't like passing up any any targets that sound like that. So to me, this is actually kind of driving me crazy out here a bit because I want to dig everything up that sounds good because in my mind, which I learned last week at the park, even when I heard a, a bad signal and a good signal and a bad signal and a good signal and a bad signal, there was coins in the hole. Here's foil again. I can see it off the top of it. Oh, it's coming up negative. I can see right there that it's aluminum foil. Usually it comes up a little bit. Usually it comes up good. But uh, anyway, that 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 uh, plug last week that I dug had the two nickels and the and the pennies in it. That came up as a negative sound. And then I found another one, a uh, penny that came up with the positive sound and a negative sound, positive sound. I mean, there was two nails in the hole. Just so you guys don't think I gave up all the scurs, uh, even though I'm pretty sure it's nothing. Sounds great, right? Probably another piece of foil. I'll dig it up. This will be the last one of the day. I'm gonna keep it rolling, guys. I'm gonna just turn on my pinpoint and put down my machine. I'm still recording with the iPhone, like I said once before, but I might have to edit that part out because who knows. All right, well, this is deeper than I want it to be because I don't like digging in here. It's filled with roots. Hold on a minute. And I'm gonna ruin this little tree's life right here. Oh, I think I hit it already. Something big, or is that a root? No, it's another one of those jar lids, I think. Or something. Something big, big target, big metal. What is that? Or is that a big rock? That's no, just a big rock. Never mind. Okay, we have the uh, target within an uh, inch at least because that's about as far as that pinpointer goes. Unless it's a really large target. Which this might be. Oh, I was hoping to get to it quicker than this. Is that it? Bear with me a minute. Could have got out and got the big shovel out of my backpack, but there it is, and it's a piece of a can. Looks like from here. Right? Hard to tell. It's hard to tell. Getting, this freaking hole keeps getting filled back up. Before you can see it, I'm gonna take it out of there if I can get it, just so if I ever do come back here, I won't be hitting it again. All right, guys, thanks for watching. All right, guys, uh, I made it to my car. Uh, just wanted to wrap things up, but it's going with my setup here. I got my vest on. The canteen uh, carrier has been used as a cell phone carrier because I use this to record my videos uh, still at this point until I get a, uh, my GoPro comes in, then I'm going to get a helmet uh, strap, I think I'm going to try to strap it to my helmet, and then uh, my digging tool taken out of the magazine pouch, and that's also where I put uh, my finds. I'm just putting the machine away right now in the car there, you can see uh, it's probably loaded with garbage, it look like I've been living in there. But luckily for me, I had that extra, um, I had this extra sweatshirt today. 
because I surely needed it. It is cold out here. We had, like I said, the nor'easter, uh, whatever it's called. Alright guys, Brandon here. Uh, just got home. Just want to run over a quick test and kind of tell you what I'm talking about here. Uh, let me just show you what I have set up on my uh, bed here. Mm, sorry, I got a phone call in the middle of my recording. I don't even know what happens, what do, what happens when that happens, but anyway, let me start all over again. I have a, a zinc penny, you know, a modern penny, a 1964 nickel. You can see modern penny. I have this thing, which I think is steel. I hope it is. I'm pretty sure it is. And then I have a 1887 Morgan silver dollar, and I have a crushed down aluminum monster can. Now let's see what I'm kind of talking about. Alright, I forgot a second. Hold on a second. Let me just put it back in pattern one. Apologize. Now on to the Morgan. Now on to the steel. Now on to the nickel. The nickel is all over the place. Now on to the penny. So, like, as you guys can see, uh, with this machine, it's 36, 34, 36, 34, everything sounds good. I mean, yes, the tones are different because I have it on 99 tones, but some people keep it on, you know, three tones. And um, how would you ever, you know, how would you ever know the difference? I mean, if you're looking at the number on the, on the target ID, you would never know. You would never know what you were... Uh, digging so I am looking to upgrade as soon as I can I'm thinking about getting a 705 but I don't know if it's the same uh, oh, I wish there was a way I could demo some machines first before buying them but um, at least I know with Kelly code they'll give me a 30 day uh, hassle free return so there you have it guys uh, just want to say thanks for watching like uh, subscribe comment let me know what you think and uh, we'll have a new camera soon and more videos. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be back at the beach if that uh, the waves have stopped. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.